I'm Sheila Karsavar with Christ United in Myrtle Beach. I'm the youth coordinator for the Crossroads Ministry here. And today's devotion that I'm going to talk about is from Ezra 7, 27 and 28. Uh, before I read it, my question is, uh, how is your faith and what are you standing on? Who are you listening to and what are you believing? And do you believe that if you are a child of God, that he is with you and that he strengthens you. And um, if you're walking in his will, then you will see his power and his strength. Because from Ezra 7, 27 and 28, it says, Praise be to the Lord, the God of our ancestors, who has put it into the king's heart to bring honor to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem this way, and who has extended his good favor to me before the king and his advisors and all the king's powerful officials because the hand of the Lord my God was on me. I took courage and gathered leaders from Israel to go up with me. Um, Ezra was finding favor uh, from the king, and he knew that it was God, it was, God's hand on him that that's why he was finding favor Ezra never took the um, oh I don't know the control himself he always gave praise to the Lord and so we need to guard our hearts we need to guard our hearts we need to be walking in his will we need to be praising him no matter what things look like and know know that you know that you know that the Lord your God is with you and if you are confused about this or you aren't sure about your relationship with Jesus, if you don't know our Heavenly Father, then I would encourage you to pray and have him show you who he is for you in your life and reach out to us because we can walk you through this. It's about believing that he sent his son to die for you, for you. It is about receiving that gift of grace and mercy, but walking in the strength and the power that the Lord gives you because of his gift of the Holy Spirit. And so, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, Lord. I thank you for um, just your power and your strength. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your provisions, Lord. I thank you that even when, and especially when, times are rough, we can just walk in your promises that you work all things out for us, for the good of us, because you love us. And Lord, I just pray for those who might not have a relationship with you, Lord, that they would reach out to you and you would show them who you are in their life. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.